Several middle school teacher in White County has been charged with three counts of rape of a child after he was discovered to have allegedly been engaged in inappropriate behavior with a minor. District Attorney General Bryant Dunway stated that White County Sheriff's Office and the Department of Children's Services began investigating 27-year-old Austin Damon Allen, a teacher at White County Middle School, early this week. Officials stated that the investigation stemmed from allegations that Allen was involved in inappropriate behavior. After learning of the allegations, the White County Director of Schools allegedly suspended Allen from his teaching position and placed him on leave pending the investigation's results. On Friday, October 27th, investigative efforts revealed that Allen had engaged in inappropriate acts with a minor child. Investigators then sought warrants charging Allen with three counts of rape of a child. Allen was taken into custody in Cookville with the assistance of the Cookville Police Department. Authorities report that Allen was taken to the White County Jail where he was booked and is being held on a $750,000 bond, which was set by the White County Judge Commissioner. White County Schools released a statement on Saturday stating that they are shocked and deeply saddened by the news. White County Schools is shocked and deeply saddened by the news surrounding a former middle school teacher and our thoughts and prayers and efforts are with the affected children, their families, and our school community. From the initial reports, the teacher was suspended, removed from campus, and subsequently had his employment terminated. The school district is fully cooperating with the authorities in this investigation and will work diligently to serve our community to navigate the waters in the wake of this deplorable incident. If anyone has any information pertaining to this case, please contact the White County Sheriff's Department. If you or a child are in need of counseling services, please contact the school system. This chapter is not a reflection of our school district and the incredible employees who lovingly serve students each day and together. We will rebuild the trust and integrity that was damaged by the acts of one individual. As this is an ongoing investigation, the district has no further comment at this time. District Attorney General Dunway stated that the investigation remains ongoing and that additional charges are forthcoming. And they later stated that anyone with any information regarding any other potential victims is asked to call the District Attorney General at 931-528-5015. That is 931-528-5015 or the White County Sheriff's Office at 931-838-2700. That is 931-838-2700. Let me just be honest, um, because of everything that's taking place right now in the school system and with these teachers, I'm ready for the robots to come in. I'm ready for AI to start teaching kids because this is getting on my nerves. It's the same exact thing day in, day out, week by week, month by month, year after year. It's the exact same thing, and it's the exact same spiel from all of these school systems. The school systems do not care about your kids. They care about the fact that the kids are worth money. That is, if the kids weren't worth money, you wouldn't hear a lot of these press releases. You wouldn't hear a lot of these uh, principals, superintendents, or whoever it is, uh, you know, releasing any type of statement about anything that took place. They normally would not have anything to state. They just wouldn't. Like I said before, this is a failure on a multitude of different levels. Firstly, the school system is not doing anything to really combat this whole thing. They need to come out with some type of rules or regulations that state that, hey, if we find that you did X, Y, and Z, guess what? Automatic prison time. That'll stop a lot of this nonsense. I'm just trying to figure out when is it going to be possible for parents and guardians of those who actually care about kids to actually rise up and to make or try to formulate some type of legislation, get to um, a lot of these officials who aren't doing anything, um, you know, start getting money together so that laws and different things can get passed in a multitude of states or maybe just a blanketed one in general. Um, when will that actually take place? Because you always hear a lot of people in the comment section, especially when it deals with these stories on Yahoo, MSNBC or wherever. They always want to state that they care about the kids and they're so concerned and all this other type of stuff. But the most concern that they just so happen to have is just in the comment section. When it comes and deals with everyday life, they don't happen to have that exact same aggression. They don't have that exact same energy, right? They don't have that exact same awareness of a problem or a situation. It's only when it's put directly in front of them. And like I stated to people before, this is why a lot of problems happen to persist, right? When it deals with humans in general, 
because the only time that we happen or seem to care about something is when it's just presented. When it's not directly in our face, we don't care about it. It's not our concern. It's not at our front door. It's not affecting us. Why should I be worried about it? Why should I be concerned about it? I have no control over the situation. What does this have to do with me? This has nothing to do with my household or my bills, right? That's what people always want to sit up there and state. And I continuously tell people time and time again that sooner or later, and much more likely it's going to be sooner, that this situation is going to affect you, is going to hit your doorstep in one way or another, and then you're going to have to deal with it. And by then it's going to be too late because you had ample time in ample situations to point this out, to deal with this, to, to try to put this in a box that it needs to be placed in. But now it's going to be at a point in time where acts like this are going to be normalized in society. It's going to be a point in time where people like this are going to be considered protected groups. So, like I said, I don't know what to tell people at this moment in time. It just seems to me that people realistically don't care. It's a failure on both the system when it deals with the police. It's a failure when it deals with the government. It don't matter if it's FBI, CIA. It don't matter if it's the, the legislative branch. It don't matter if it's on a state or a city level. And it's a failure, especially when it deals with the parents. Because the more and more I see these stories, the less and less I start to hear of parents actually giving a damn about their kids. 